So we have all kinds of brackets and I think this is one of the things that really confuses beginners, including myself. That's why I put this together. So today we're talking about brackets, including parentheses, curly brackets, box brackets, angle brackets, and quotations. And what are the differences? So the general rule is if you have one side, you will always have the other side to close it. First talk about parentheses. Every time you come across a parentheses, think of it as a function. So function does something, it's not just a value. So you have a parentheses, usually we have a name of the function right before that. Or I could just say function, right? And inside the parentheses, you'll pull a parameter, which in this case could be like the bread, lettuce, meat, and tomato, and function returns you the hamburger. So again, these ingredients are called parameters. Let's take an example of a vending machine. So vending machine, uh, you can put a coin in it and it will return you a soda. Function are the same thing. You give something and it returns you something. And think of that parenthesis like a slot where you put your coin in so that you don't forget. Back in high school, we did math and I'm sure we remember F parenthesis X close equals a function, whatever, X plus one or something. This is a function, right? And this X is the parameter. So if we use one instead of the X, then the function will return two, right? Let's talk about curly brackets. Curly brackets is usually used to enclose a function body or an object. So either of these. Uh, let's go one by one. Function body, generally, if you define a function, let's call it my function, and then the parameter goes inside the parentheses. And right after that, we have the curly brackets. And inside here, you talk about what the function does. So if we take the earlier case, it will be x plus one. That's the function body, right? And we will use that curly bracket to enclose it. Objects are something like a visual element on the page, or it could be like a user or an item or something that needs to be regarded as an object. So if we talk about visual elements, uh, we'll put inside a curly bracket it's the, the attributes. What is the color, size, border ra radius, and if you define these attributes within the curly bracket, the computer will recognize that as a visual element. And the same with the user, you know, you put all these attributes and the computer will know what this guy John is and what data does this item contain. So again, curly brackets can contain functions. Simply you write the commands that needs to be ran. An object can be like a visual element or like an user. And the easy way to remember is think of it as like a robot hand because every time you have a curly bracket, it means that the computer needs to process and understand what's defined within the curly bracket. It's a statement, right? Uh, let's talk about box now. Every time you come across a box bracket, think of it as an array. What is an array? Um, a good way to put it is it's a chocolate box. It's a box of chocolate that has all kinds of different chocolate in it, but as a whole, it's a value called chocolate box, right? So inside you might have like dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, caramel, and mint or something. As a whole, this is chocolate box. And the order that you need to remember is that first it starts from zero. So if you wanna call the chocolate box and take something out of it, let's say chocolate box one, will correspond to the second one, so milk chocolate, and it will give you that milk chocolate. So that's an array. So let's talk about angle brackets now. Angle brackets basically are tags, right? You've seen in like HTML, HTML or something, right? So you have a tag to represent like a section within a page, and then you can have div tags as well which represents a subsection within the body. So all these tags represent a space or a segment within a page. If you put button as a tag, then between those button tags, you put the label like submit, and then that will be rendered as a submit button. So tags are like components within a page. General rule is you have the starting tag and you have the ending tag and you put the content in between. But there's also a thing called self-closing tag. If you don't have anything in between, you can just literally put that slash at the end and close it and it'll be seen as a tag. Finally, we're talking about quotation. Every time you put a quotation on a text that will regard that text as the text. One plus one is, will return you a two, but if you put a quotation one plus one, it will still return one plus one. In a CSS, for example, background color is regarded as in the syntax label. In CSS, uh, background color blue is defined in the way you see right here, but if we put a quotation around background color, then all of a sudden the background color is regarded just as a string, a text, nothing more than a text. So the, this whole thing doesn't work anymore. Double quotation versus single quotation is that 
some languages prefer one over the other, but basically the way they work are the same. So again, the summary is parentheses represents a function and it takes in a parameter such as a coin for vending machine and that will return you whatever is defined inside the curly brackets, which is in this case a soda can. The curly brackets can also represent a object. It can be like a visual object or an instance of an item or data and you can list out the attributes within to represent the object. Box brackets are generally used to represent an array. You can have multiple values inside and you can pick what to take. Angle brackets are used to place things called tags like divs or headers or a component and they usually represent a component or a section within a page. And finally, quotations a way to convert that value into a literal string. So one plus one with quotation will not be two, but instead it will just be one plus one. All right, so that's all the brackets. I hope you have a little better understanding. And if you like this, please like and subscribe and we'll post more videos. Thank you.